Hey guys, Dan from Trading with Dan here. Hope you guys are all well. Hope you've had a good day of trading. Um, it's evening, evening time over here in England. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into this video. Um, so this video, um, I'm going to be correcting um, an error that I made um, in how the trailing stop um, feature works on three commas. Um, I mean, this is an error that other people may have made also um, because um, it, it is a bit confused it was a bit confusing for me so i'm just assuming i won't be the only person um so yeah so what i was initially saying um what I was what my initial assumption was if we go over to one of my bots just here um i've not actually corrected this error in my bot so i'll be able to do it whilst we're here whilst i'm whilst i'm i'm um, on the on the video and the video of you guys um so yeah so what we did was our trailing um sorry not the trailing stop the trailing profit and the trailing deviation Right, so I assumed, this is what I assumed, we'd have the target profit, um, so we would get taken out of that target profit of 4%, that's why I was having my profit level higher, um, and then the training deviation of 1.25%, so that was, um, I was assuming that if we get to 4%, I'm going to get taken out, um, if we come down, if we get to 4% or 3% and then come back down to 1.25% less than 3%, so down to 1.75%, um, then I'd get taken out of there for my profit. Um, so that that is actually incorrect. Um, how it works, I've got some I've got some charts here to show you as well, some diagrams to make it crystal clear. Um, is that what we what how it works is we have a target profit of what we want our target profit to be. So in this in my previous setting obviously which is still on here um it was four percent so but what actually happens is my trailing deviation uh my trading deviation for my um target profit will actually only activate upon reaching the four percent target so what will happen is um if my stop say two percent i could get up to three percent profit and then if we then went down to a two percent um, a two percent loss would get stopped out of the trade, and we wouldn't have this trailing deviation um, helping us lock in any profits. Um, so what it will do, it'll activate at four percent. So then we say we go from four percent to five percent to six percent, um, and then come back down from six percent to five, just under five percent. So one point two five percent less than six percent. So four point seven five percent. That will be where the trailing deviation will kick in and lock us in our trade. So for how i would like how i'd like to trade um i would probably then change my target profit to two percent so this will be when the level that my trading deviation will get activated and then i will put my trading deviation at 1.25 percent um so what this means is that my target profit for a trade will be two percent so when i get to two percent um if we then retrace back 1.25 percent so ie to 0.75 percent that will then lock in my profit at 0.75 percent and that trade will then be over so i've got some diagrams here just to just to make it crystal clear for you guys so so what we've got here we've got a a trade on this green level is the buy level um the blue level is our take profit level and the red level will be our um will basically be once we've hit as you can see once we hit that one percent take profit level this um this level this blue level um that will activate the trailing um stop loss um at one percent a one percent deviation so this will be now be where the trailing stop loss is so if we then go on to the next slide oh here we go here we go there we go so as you can see the market here moved up <clears throat> carried on moving up that was our initial take profit level um we actually moved up um by this much so one percent lower than the high is this line here so this is our trailing um trailing profit take profit so we've gone up well, obviously with the price keeping a one percent a one percent margin away from from the high so then if we scroll on again so in fact we've got another slide before here so this is where we actually reached the top um, of this move um, in this asset so we got to this level here so that is this is the high so this red line here is our um, one percent lower than that high so that's our trailing um, tra trading take profit is there 
bearing in mind we got activated here so what I was explaining to you before was if the price got to say just here this level and then retraced it we, we would be waiting to hit our potential stop um, say we've got a stop 1% below the market that will where we get stop out we wouldn't have a trailing stop loss it only gets activated once we hit our take profit level but this is where you're trailing your trailing stop loss does come into play so say you've got a 1% stop the market moves at 1% that means your stop if you have a trailing stop loss of 1% then sorry have your trailing stop loss on just turned on you don't have a, a deviation um, um, setting for it it just goes up one to one with the price so if your mark if the market goes up one percent then your stop that will say what two percent is now at negative one percent because it's followed the price up so yeah so so anyway yeah so we've got this is the top of the price so then if you move on to the next slide you can then see we come back um and then we get taken out at the at the the trailing um trailing take profit line so as you can see our initial profit target was five percent um with the trailing um we then actually ended up getting a nine percent trade a nine percent profit from that trade so yeah so that means i do need to adjust my settings so i'm going to have my target profit as two a trading deep standard trading deviation of 1.25 so this is great now this is how it should be and how it actually was but just not how i understood it to be <laughs> which was my error so now say we have like we've obviously seen some very large pumps in um bitcoin cash dash um some other or some other markets so you have your if you have your bot set up for those um you can be taking a, a lot more profit providing the price goes up in a straight line which obviously you can see if you look on um, the dash price what it has been doing um so yeah so and then obviously then you'll get taken out of your trading deviation so so yeah i hope that um hope that did um help you guys um fully understand how the trailing profit take profit works how it is a very 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 powerful um tool for locking in more gains and maximizing gains and and i do apologize for explaining it um incorrectly before so yeah thanks for listening to this uh video guys yeah any other questions or any other mistakes like that you see that i've made um obviously feel free to um just leave me a comment or send me a message in the telegram group um and then i can i can look into that and then get that addressed and then do a video like this because yeah any any I, I i make mistakes like i did make with this um there are things that like three commas was has been a learning process for me um so obviously i do know some of the mistakes that i've made and this was just another mistake that i've made whilst i've been doing these videos with you guys so yeah none of, again the disclaimer none of this is financial advice um, this is just for educational purposes. Trading is uh, very risky, especially in crypto. Don't trade money that you can't afford to lose or lose sleep over. And then, yeah, thanks, thanks for listening, guys. Um, like, share, leave me a comment, and um, I look forward to doing another video.